so population growth is the increase in the number of individuals over a period of time in a given region the number of old people are more youngsters are very less then the growth of the country can be hindered so that is nothing but aging population here and if the ozone layer gets depleted the uv rays will enter into the earth's atmosphere causing a lot of problem to the plants animals and humans living inside it Hello everyone a warm welcome to today's session on environmental studies for second semester bcom i'm dr divya environmental studies faculty vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysore so in today's session let us begin with unit 7 that is human communities and the environment so talking about the session let us learn about human population growth and how this human population growth affect different aspects of the environment so what does human population growth so population growth is the increase in the number of individuals over a period of time in a given region so say for example every year a census is conducted of a particular region so first one year what the population number was next year how much it has increased so that is nothing but population growth so in a given period of time in a given region measuring the increase in the population is called as population growth so talking about the human population growth the so global human population growth around the world is about 83 million every year when census is taken and the population is assessed so the world population every year it increases that is 83 million or it there is a increase of 1.1% every year so every year 1.1% population increases same and the global population has grown from 1 billion that is in 1800 when population census was taken it was about 1 billion and in 2020 it is 7.9 billion so from 1 billion to 7.9 billion it has reached and the estimates whoever went in for the population uh, growth studies they have put the total population at 8.6 billion by the middle of 2030 so scientists have said that by the middle of 2030 the population world population will be 8.6 billion and by the middle of 2050 it is going to be 9.8 billion and by 2100 it's going to reach 11.2 billion so this drastic increase in population in the future can pose a lot of problems to the environment and also to the human beings so therefore let's understand what are the impacts of population growth on the environment because if the environment gets affected the organisms living in that environment also gets affected first is it will lead to air pollution because as and when the number of people in a population increases the demand for good transportation good infrastructure number of industries all that will increase leading to the release of a lot of toxic smoke into the atmosphere therefore causing air pollution next is it will result in water pollution lesser the amount of fresh water more amount of pollution so here what happens as the population increases the demand for water also increases we know that only 1% of fresh water is available and that to in 1% majority goes to agriculture remaining what is left we people have to depend on for drinking now if the population keeps on increasing like this it is very difficult to fulfill the fresh water demand and not just that as and when the number of people increases the number of industries increase the usage of number of waste or the uh, formation of a number of waste also increase which will lead to a lot of water pollution next is it will
will lead to deforestation. As and when the number of population in a particular country increases, there will be demand for space. The number of houses tend to increase, the infrastructure tends to increase, the roads tends to increase. Therefore, we need a lot of land area. So, what will people do? They will start cutting down or clearing the forest or cutting down the trees so that that area can be used for agriculture purposes, for transportation, to build roads, to build houses, to build schools, colleges, institutes, uh, industries, etc. Therefore, deforestation is one of the major threats to ecosystem or environment because of population growth. Next is it will lead to ozone depletion. How will it lead to ozone depletion? We are all gadget freaks, right? And also we like using a lot of perfume products and a lot of uh, household products which contains a lot of the chemicals. That is, it contains halogens, it contains chlorofluorocarbons. These chemicals are mainly responsible for making a hole or depleting the ozone layer. And if the ozone layer gets depleted, the UV rays will enter into the Earth's atmosphere, causing a lot of problem to the plants, animals and humans living inside it. So therefore, the increase in population will increase the use of various technologies, various products, which will increase the emission of chlorofluorocarbons and ozone depleting ga uh, gases into the atmosphere, causing ozone depletion. Next is degradation of land or soil. So what happens when the population increases, the demand for agriculture, demand for food also increases. So what people will do, they'll start using a lot of chemical fertilizers in order to increase the food production of that is by through the crops. So they'll start adding a lot of chemical fertilizers to the agricultural fields. So, will it not uh, degrade the soil? It will, right? So, therefore, degradation of land or soil can occur. Next is, it can lead to extinction of species. So, extinction of species and deforestation is interconnected. Increase in population demands more space. The demand for space leads to cutting of trees. Leads to cutting of trees or vanishing of vegetation will vanish or cut or destroy a lot of organisms which are there which are sharing space with us in this planet which will lead to extinction or complete depletion of some of the species and it can lead to global warming and climate change also this is also linked to deforestation this is also linked to ozone depletion because global warming is nothing but the earth will get heated why will it get heated because of the accumulation of the greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and all that which are released by the vehicles as and when the uh, population increases the burning of fossil fuels increases transportation increases releasing a lot of greenhouse gases which can cause global warming and in turn climate change so next is, so these were the impacts of population growth on the environment. Now what will happen to the human beings if we don't control the population? So let's study impacts of population growth on human health and human welfare. First is it will lead to malnutrition by demand for food. Too much the population is and less amount of agriculture field then where will be the place to grow food, right? So therefore, less amount of food production that is produced is not able to meet the demands of the people. Therefore, it will lead to malnutrition as well. And not just that, what happens here is, because in order to fulfill the food demand of the people, a lot of agricultural chemical fertilizers will be used, which will in turn decline the nutrition level of the food. So, if we consume good food also, we may become malnourished. So, therefore, malnutrition is one of the major factors here. Next is aging population. So, increasing population will decline the quality of the people in that particular population. What happens in aging population is, say for example, in a population, the number of old people are more, youngsters are very less, then the growth of the country can be hindered. So that is nothing but aging population here. 
Next is migration. And what happens here because of increasing population, less number of job opportunity. So therefore, people will have to migrate from one region to another in search of jobs. Therefore, when they migrate from one region to another, that region to which they have migrated, there they will increase the population and there they will bring a problem to the already residing people there. So therefore, migration is also one of the factors. Next is food shortage or starvation can occur. This will obviously occur. Why? Because one is because of negligence by the government. It is said that a lot of food is wasted in the go-downs which are stored because of improper distribution of food. That is one of the reasons. When population is quite high, the demand for food is also quite high. But the agricultural fields will not be able to provide or uh, provide enough food for the high demand of uh, demand of the population. Therefore, it will lead to food shortage and starvation. Next, it will lead to spread of diseases. Say, for example, in an area, there are only five houses. The spread of disease is very, very less because that area will be hygienic, well-maintained and all that. But in an area, where is that same area, there are hundreds of people there, then the spread of diseases is more because it will be crowded. So, therefore... That is why, right, during the corona time, they were saying, avoid crowds, don't go to crowded area because crowded areas is the home for the spread of diseases. So, that is the reason. So, it will lead to spread of diseases very, very fast. And not just that, it will cause water supply contamination. What happens? The fresh water level will come down. This, there will be scarcity of water. Therefore, the contamination of water is high. As and when the water scarcity occurs, the contamination of water is very, very high because the flow of water would have been reduced. So, therefore, it will cause water supply contamination as well. Next is it will lead to unemployment. People will start to become jobless because of overpopulation. Next is rising and also not just that. Nowadays, people are re being replaced by machineries. So, that is also one of the reasons. So, machines are replacing people first of all. And then the population is also increasing. How can the youngsters get jobs? It is very difficult. Therefore, it will lead to unemployment. And unemployment can therefore lead to a chain of different problems. So, here next is rising conflicts between territories. Why? First, there was an area, that country had a particular area, which was enough for that population. Now, when if the population increases, that area is not enough for the country. What they will do? They will start picking up fights with the neighboring country for areas, right, for territories. So, that is how it will rise conflicts or war between territories, especially for area of our land. So, this was about the impacts of population on human health and human welfare. So, with this, the session comes to an end. So, we studied about the population growth, what happens to the environment and what can happen to the human health and human welfare if the population of a country or an area increases. So, all that we studied. So, this was about the session. In the next session, we shall study about resettlement and rehabilitation of project affected person that is whenever a dam or whenever roads are constructed people will have to be evacuated from that particular area and shifted to some other area or whenever there is a flood or an earthquake they'll have to leave that area and shift to a, uh, another area so what happens when rehabilitation and resettlement is done to such people how do they get affected all that we shall study and also to prevent all this we can go in for disaster management that is when floods are there when earthquakes are there when cyclones are there when landslides are there how can we prevent them or if we cannot prevent them after all these disasters how can we manage these disasters so all that we shall learn in the next session so with these two topics we shall meet again in the coming session thank you